WWF Attitude, the sequel to Warzone, came out in the summer of 1999, except for the Dreamcast version, which came out in November 99. To kick this shit off, we're going to be looking at the Dreamcast version. Right off the bat, the roster is really strong. There's a ton of main event guys, just like there was on Warzone, but the mid card was very strong during this period, and there's a ton of guys to represent that. Still not anywhere near what WCW vs NWO Revenge was, but it's definitely a welcome improvement over Warzone. Another welcome improvement is the match types. You can have a hardcore match, last man standing, first blood, whatever gets you off. Do whatever the fuck you want. Not really, but it's more than Warzone anyway. I've been looking forward to kicking your ass all day long. I am the greatest second generation superstar. Unfortunately, that's where the improvements stop. This is the same fucking game as Warzone. Underneath the improved roster and all this other stuff that should have been there in the first place, it's the same gameplay. It plays the exact same, there's really no improvements to the gameplay itself. Really the only thing I can note is the health power is a little bit different, I guess. Instead of reducing down to green and then it gets a little bit green, it just does it on its own. Instead of being a new life bar. That's about it. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing offensively bad about the gameplay of Attitude or Warzone. But at this point, WCW vs. NWO Revenge has already been out. World Tour was out before that. Both of those are significantly better games. You think they would have tried to step up their game a little bit and make some improvements in gameplay, but they didn't. They just added a bunch of features to the same game. It's the same. I mean, I guess it's the definitive version. This is the better version between Attitude and Warzone, but... Why would I play either if I can go play the better WCW games? Another thing of note on this game is the graphics. I'm not going to talk about the graphics on the PS1 or N64 version because they look the same as Warzone because it's the fucking same game as Warzone. But this is the Dreamcast version. And to be honest, this looks like shit for a Dreamcast game. Dreamcast is a pretty powerful system and this doesn't look like it's too much better than an N64 game or a PS1 game. I mean, yeah, it's higher resolution. It should be. It's a Dreamcast game, but it should look a lot better than this. Although the gameplay has little to no improvement over Warzone, there is a very significant addition in the Create mode. You can go in and make your own moveset, which is really fucking cool. Career mode is pretty much just challenge mode, except you start on house shows fighting headbanger mosh. Enthralling. The acolytes are coming for your soul! I'm evil and blue, Marvel. I love it! Against the ropes! Off the ropes! The commentary is now by Shane McMahon and Jerry the King Lawler but it's about the same quality level as Vince and JR's on Warzone. So, pretty shitty. Ow, oh, on the defense toe. now! Oh, hips just looks tired here, King. I'm not so sure about that, Shane. <laughs> Tangled up! In King of the Ring mode, which we're checking out on the PS1 version, you can set up an eight-person tournament. This is cool if you have some buddies to play with, but as a single-player experience, it's just as tedious as career mode. Well, I'm gonna win this tournament, you stupid the big boss man. <laughs> Honestly, I've run out of things to say about Attitude. While it did add some cool features to the create mode and the roster is much larger, 
they haven't really done much to improve the core gameplay. When I say it's the same, I mean it's the exact fucking same. If Warzone was mediocre, this is just spit-shined mediocrity. There you have it. Nothing else left to say about WWF Attitude. No. No, 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 no. Not another shitty Game Boy game. <sighs> God damn it. On the surface, it looks like it has a few game modes, but what exactly is the difference between Challenge, Career, and King of the Ring? There's only a few wrestlers on this version, so they're all just variations of Fight All the Guys. It's not like you'll want to fight all of them after one match anyway. This is bad. Really bad. Why did every company feel the need to shit out a zero effort Game Boy version for every game? I get that this was during the Pokemon craze and every kid around this time had a Game Boy, but this is such a rip off. I mean, the graphics are awful, X-Pac looks more like Kevin Nash, and The Rock looks like a skinny Antonio and Oki. Gameplay wise, you just hit buttons and pray to Odin that you're the one attacking. And that fucking song, it never stops. Not when you exit the match, not when you try a new game mode, it just keeps going. Whatever, I'm done with this shit. On the bright side, at least I'm done with the Acclaim Wrestling games. Fuck.